Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, 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 everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Excellent. I'm great, too. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the how class. Okay, amazing. And you, Edwin, how are you? Okay, I think we don't have audio. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Did you feel the earthquake, everyone? Yes or not? Uh, I didn't feel the earthquake. You didn't? Really? Yes. How yes. is that possible? Because <laughs> uh, that moment, and in that moment, I was driving. Ah, that's the reason why. Yeah, because why. It, it, it was very strong. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Right. And how about you guys? Did you feel it? Yes? No? In my case, I don't feel it. You didn't, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Were you driving, too? Uh, I wasn't driving, but yes, uh, I, ca I came in, in the car. Okay. Okay. Well, it was very strong, but good for you if you didn't feel it. <laughs> so you didn't feel scared. Okay. Um, but I hope guys you are okay. I hope your family and friends are okay too. Because it was very strong. <laughs> and you know that we live in a very vulnerable country. So always let's be careful, okay? Now, let's start today's class. I can see only uh, Ulise. He's the only one with the camera on. What happens with the other one, guys? Keep the camera on, please. I want to see you. All right, let's see. We are going to start, everyone. Do you remember the, uh, the topics that we studied yesterday? What do we do yesterday? Do you remember? Yesterday uh, was about review some topics. Mm -hmm. um, we we sip um, about three PL and connector and correct. We were I reviewing. No, but those are correct. So today we're going to see another topic. Um, just give me a second. Sorry, um, okay, let's start, uh, let's see, let's see. I can see a few people today. Where are your classmates? Hmm, and yeah. by the way, I think that they sent um, a link that is not the one, right? That's why guys, I decided to send the link again. So I apologize for the inconvenience. I already reported it, so I expect that it doesn't happen again, okay? Well, let's start. Um, <laughs> I have a little sore throat, so if for a moment you listen to my voice a little bit weird, it's because of that, okay? <laughs> I apologize for that. Okay, let's see, let's start, everyone. Today, basically, we are starting the unit number three, so... 
Let me start sharing the presentation. Give me a second. Okay, can everybody see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so today is July 18th. And um, as I mentioned, this is the week number four, unit number three. Remember guys that basically only one more week and the level is over. So it is important please to keep the platform completed. Okay, let's continue working on it. Okay, this is the topic for today. Describe the fundamentals of warehouse. So we are going to discuss that topic today about warehouse. This is the class objective. Volunteer for reading, please. Participants will be able to provide suggestion to the soul, common use it relate to where shop where sourcing to process. All right. Process. Processes. 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 Okay, so basically, guys, we are going to discuss what a warehouse is, what are some issues that people in the warehouse can have, okay? So, but yesterday, we practiced simple past. So, guys, we will continue practicing this topic until you feel you are experts, all right? So, yesterday, we practiced these questions. So, now, let me ask you... And let me interview you with the questions that we practiced yesterday. Let's see. Okay, I assume that even if you have the camera off, you can participate, right? I'm not going to ask only the people that says, <clears throat> sorry, that says listener, but if not, I will ask you. Let me start with Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Hello, teacher. Edwin, what did you eat for lunch yesterday afternoon? So yesterday afternoon, I ate um, pizza uh, because I went to the mall with my coworkers and they want, wanted to eat something different mm, okay sounds good and did you like it yes okay what kind of pizza was it uh, pepperoni ah okay sounds good okay thank you edwin can you pick one of your classmates please um Ulises. okay hello Ulises. hello all right what did you do last Friday night? Okay, last Friday night, um, evening. I start evening around three at three p.m. Uh, I went to the Tonaca de Peque, the specific uh, abupuseria, Maria because there are there uh, uh, there is a good uh, excellent pupusas and there i ate uh, we ate a pupusa with mom, my mom and my nephew and i drank uh, my mom drank coffee and i i drank coca cola my nephew drank coca cola as well and then uh, we went to the church uh, around 6 p.m. There we were um, one hour 30, 30. And then uh, we went to the park and there we were around one hour. And after that, we returned to my house and when we were in, at home, we talked about, uh, about that day. And also I, start, I, I, 
I started uh, for one hour uh, listening uh, some videos in YouTube about English, new vocabulary. Uh, and as well, that day I received a uh, two hours class about English because I study English. <laughs> okay. Yes. What time did you go to sleep? Uh, I sleep um, at um, 12 p.m. Midnight. Yes. Oh my goodness. Very late. Yes. <laughs> okay. Super good because you gave a lot of details. I know I you are you are trying to give details, guys, and that's something that I liked. Very good job. Okay, Lisa, pick one of your classmates, please. Let me see. Santiago Roberto. All right. Hello, Santiago. Are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Let's ask to someone else. Um, Pamela. Okay, hello, Pamela, are you there? Hello. <laughs> okay, let's ask Carlos Ernesto because he's the one who has the camera on. Hello, Carlos. Hello. How are you? Uh, today, I uh, died. Really? Yes. Okay. All right. But tell me, um, what were or where were you an hour ago? Where were you an hour ago? ago? Mm -hmm. Um. An hour ago, I was in my house. Uh, I I come back, came came back. Came back, <laughs> yeah. I came back uh, six six p.m. Uh, so an hour. Uh, an hour ago, uh, I took a shower. Um, I ate. Um, I had I had dinner. I ate uh, beans, bread, milk. Uh, uh, I I drank milk. Uh, Uh, I I review the video uh, how to to repair uh, the door on the, my house <laughs> too. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I have a problem the door with with the door. Okay, uh, a little bit. I saw a little bit uh, television. Uh, um, always uh, I saw the news news break breaker. Break news or break breaking news. news? Breaking breaking news, news mm -hmm. uh, about uh, earthquake. Uh, earthquake. Uh, I don't felt it. Didn't. I I did I didn't feel. You didn't okay. feel it. I didn't feel it. <laughs> yes, uh, because I I walked. Okay, you were walking, so you didn't feel it. Yes. Because, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Imagine he was so strong and you didn't feel it. <laughs> okay, yes. sounds good. Okay, Carlos, you were giving a lot of details in simple parts. <laughs> Very good. I, a little, a little difficult. <laughs> but yes, I but but you I are tried. doing it. Excellent, guys. You are doing great. 
Okay, let's continue with Josman Atilio. Hello, Josman. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Great. Tell me, what time did you go to bed last night and why? Okay. Um, yesterday, um, the Phoenix class, the, the English learning, I reviewed the platform because I, I reviewed an activity the the number three and happens the number four as a ser capit capit capital. Um I gonna the belt uh, uh and thing see twelve 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 <laughs> in night and um, why the that the TV what's that TV one moment because I don't know more more sleep <laughs> in this moment uh, the that's that's the learning and the meaning order and other activities uh tomorrow uh uh in this day um uh, one moment relaxing at a mirror night approximation <laughs> sleep and this day yeah uh, five five hard uh we have because uh, uh more activity in the, my job um very very interesting the activity and the last night okay all right you're giving details i liked it okay atilio pick the last one please one more classmate okay welcome elias nastali ah hello elias <laughs> how are you hi guys good night how do you feel today uh, I'm, I'm I'm great. Excellent. Okay, where did you live ten years ago? Ten years ago, well, all my life I live in I lived in Santa Ana, but um, uh, after one year. Um, no, it was, um, well, in the January of 2022, I lived in, um, Antiguo Cuscatlan, uh, cause, uh, for my job, I have, I had to, uh translated to, to here and my life was very different because um uh, all is different the places and the the bus station <laughs> and uh, but it's a nice change for for my life and well, I am here. I'm not, <laughs> I am not, uh, I don't know how about me for, in, in, sorry, in 10 years, but here you I are. live <laughs> day by day. That's good. And which one do you like more? Santa Ana or Antigua? Oh, oh, oh it's ah. difficult. <laughs> Very difficult. In, when I think in Santa Ana, I think in my family. When I think in here, I I think in friends, uh, fools, and <laughs> party, and oh, but. Uh, it's so difficult for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Now, guys, something that I really like about this quick speaking activity is that you are talking a lot. If you see, you are giving a lot of details. And that's great. And I know sometimes we can have 
grammar's mistakes, but guys, you are talking a lot. Now you are giving details. You are telling me a lot of sentences and that is the attitude. That's what I want. As I mentioned before, every time that you listen to a question, it, I mean, keep in mind that you have to talk for at least one minute. That's your goal, okay? And right now you are doing great. Very nice, very nice. I like it. Okay, um, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Lorena? No, okay. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. All right. Carlos Alberto? Present teacher. Excellent. Carlos Ernesto? Present teacher. Okay, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Okay, Eulise Torres. Present. Very good. Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Um, Josman Atilio. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. I think he's listening, right? Okay. Um, Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Well, he, he's listener too. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. All right. Ex eh, Rafael Alexander. Mm, Rafael. Santiago Roberto. Present. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Excellent, guys. Very good. Now, let's stop thinking about simple past. No worries. We are going to have more speaking activities about it. But now it's time to discuss one topic about the unit number three. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Excellent. Yes, so we're going to talk about warehouse, warehouse management. Do you remember? Well, with the previous topics, we discussed a little bit about warehouse. So what is that? What is a warehouse? Don't tell me the translation. Give me a definition. What is a warehouse? What do you think? Okay, this is a, mm -hmm. so it's a, a space the 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 almas and almas almacenaje or sorry almacenaje de the product store the products so the products okay mm, warehouse is similar uh for example deposit no. okay it's similar it's similar right mm -hmm. yes okay. what else another idea for a warehouse it's a big uh, build uh, where you can uh, keep your product in stock. That's correct. So basically guys, you are totally correct. That is a warehouse. Now, we are going to see some vocabulary related to a warehouse. And especially when we are talking about warehouse management. So we have the first word, inventory. Don't tell me the translation. What do you understand when I say inventory? What is that? Uh -huh. It's when you uh, make a list of all the products that you have in stock. Mm, okay, a list of all the products that you have. Yeah, that's a good definition for inventory. Do you agree, everyone? 
Yes. Yes, pretty good. Now, what is the meaning of stock? What do you think? What is stock? Have you ever seen that word before? Uh, the number of the product? The number of the product? Mm, uh, how do you say quanto? How many? It depends. How many if it is countable? How much if it is uncountable? Mm. I think it's the product uh, you have stored in the, in the warehouse. How, okay. how many product is with disponibility? It's available. <laughs> it's available. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, uh, the stock, the stock is a quantity, the product and warehouse. All right. So basically, guys, what you said is correct. Is when we are describing or we have an idea about how many products you have. Okay. So for example, um, if you go to the supermarket, you can see how many products they have, right? So the amount of goods, the amounts of products, basically that is stock. So what is then out of season? What is that? What do you think? Out of season. Hmm, what is that? That uh, one product is not a bio above a buyable. Sorry, uh, a, disponible a buy a available how do you say it? available for now. <laughs> hmm, okay. Teacher, uh, for example, different product and no not update and different season. Hmm, for example. Uh, for example, the product and you you uh, can use uh, uh, the fall the fall uh, uh, as a uh, summer. Ah, okay, that's a good idea. Remember, guys, we have different seasons. Do you know what season is? For example, teacher. Uh, the the season in the Christmas. Uh -huh, very uh, good. The Christmas is different. If you go to the supermarkets, if you go to the malls, and it's Christmas, can you see the decoration for Christmas? Yes? Yes. And in the supermarkets, in the malls, you can see products that are related to Christmas, right? You can see a lot of things. You can see Christmas trees, you can see the decorations and a lot of things related to Christmas. But what happens in February? Can you see products about Christmas in February? No. No, what can we see in February? Uh, moment of love and friends. Valentine. Ah, we, Valentine's I mean, Day. they change all the products. Now we can see products about Valentine's Day. So what happens with the Christmas product? Christmas products in February, they are out of season. That means it's not the season anymore. It's not Christmas, so the products are out of season. Got it? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, then we have, okay, we already checked what is stock. So if I say restock, what do you think? What is that? Uh, mm, supplies, uh, for example, supplies at the product and supermarket. Mm -hmm. Basically is to buy more products, okay? What happens if in the supermarket they don't have more Coca-Colas? 
They restock the product. They buy more. Okay, that is the meaning of restock. Clear? Yes. Teacher, the translator maybe is reabastecer. Basically, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have rotten. What is that? Have you ever seen that word before? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, the 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 any product uh, uh, no com not conform uh, no conform in the quality. Ah, so basically, guys, rotten is a bad product. Okay, for example, imagine that you have a mango, okay, a very delicious mango, but you don't eat the mango. What will happen with the mango if you don't eat it, <laughs> okay, if you leave the mango on the table for two weeks? What will happen with the mango? Uh, it turns rotten. Exactly. So the mango gets rotten. Is it clear the meaning for this word? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. Pretty good. Now, there is a phrase related to rotten and it is expiration date. What is that? Uh, it's the caducity, the, the product. Mm -hmm. If you go to the supermarket and if you want to buy a product, you see that the product has a date and it says you have to consume this product before and then it says the date. That is the expiration date. Understood? Yes? Any questions so far about the vocabulary, guys? Okay, be careful with the meanings because we are going to use these words. Then I have replenish. Hmm, what do you think? What is the meaning of replenish? Uh, teacher is uh, uh, any product missing? Okay, and what we do? What do we do if a product is missing? Uh, uh any any other any other um uh, faltante uh, what do you say faltante in english missing missing okay mm -hmm. so basically guys um imagine that you are in your office okay and in your office there is a window okay and by accident, you were with your co-workers playing soccer and you broke the window. <laughs> so now, if you don't want to have problems, what do you need to do? Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> okay, you need to go and buy a new window, right? And replenish the broken window okay so nobody sees the broken window they will see only the new window is it clear the meaning for replenish uh, yes this is very similar guys to restock okay they are like kind of similar because basically is a synonym of refill or in this case replace okay so restock and replenish it can they are like very close meaning is it clear everyone yes yes later yes, we yes. have an exam <laughs> Inventory management. Okay, we already check what inventory is. So what do you think? What is inventory management? 
What do you think? Any idea? No, nobody? Uh, teacher, for example, inventory manage, management uh, uh -huh. uh, is a similar uh, activity. The, the order, the inventory in the, in the store, for example, mm -hmm. order the product. Uh, Guys, be careful with the microphones. Uh huh. Continue. Identify the product. Well, for example, colors, the size. Mm -hmm. um, control the unit. The unit. The, the different product. Uh, for example. Exactly like that. So inventory management, guys, is all those process that people do in order to have a correct and organized inventory. As your classmate mentioned, there are different aspects that they need to see, that they need to control. So that is the meaning of inventory management. All those activities, all those process that you need to do in order to have an inventory in a good and organized way. Okay, then we have spoilage. What is a spoilage? What do you think? Spoilish. This is very similar or they are related with rotten. So what is spoilish? What do you think? Uh -huh. Any idea, everyone? No? Product not conform the uh, quality. Yes, it's a product, guys, that is not good anymore. So it doesn't have a, a good quality. Okay, so basically, imagine that you buy milk at the supermarket. You go to the supermarket and you buy milk. Okay. What happens if you drink the milk after the expiration date? The milk is spoilage. So that means mm -mm, the milk doesn't work anymore. It's not good. It um, basically it doesn't taste good. So it's spoilage. Is it clear the meaning for spoilage? Everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. So the, the translate would be vencido. Mm, basically, guys, spoilage in this case is a noun. So if you want to translate it, the translation is like um, deteriorado, okay? Uh, for example, you can say, hey, this product has the, uh, spoilage, okay? Este producto tiene eh, mucha deterioración o deteriorado. Or imagine that you go to a place Y el place tiene así como muchos daños. Ese lugar está así como bien deteriorado, decimos nosotros. Pero en este caso es un noun. ¿Ok? Si queremos el adjetivo, deteriorado, deteriorado. <laughs> I feel that it's difficult in Spanish to say that. So, what do we need to do? We need Basically, to add D. Exactly. Basically, we just need to add the letter D. And that it will be? the adjective okay clear everyone okay and the last one irrelevant what is the meaning of irrelevant what do you think maybe it's not uh, it's not matter it's not what 
it's not matter it's not important ah it's not important exactly when something is not important for you guys is hmm, irrelevant right like imagine if some people say hey a famous person got married and you are like mm, for me it's not important so it is irrelevant got it yes okay copy the vocabulary please because right now we are going to use it copy the vocabulary please go ahead go ahead Did you copy? Everybody, did you copy the vocabulary? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's use the vocabulary. I have this crossword. I will show you some definitions and you have to try to identify what the correct word is. Okay, um, let me open up the crossword and let's see how many correct answers you have. We're going to do this in team as a whole class. So, Let's see, let's see. See the crossword? Yes? Yes. Okay. Look at the first one. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Uh huh. The process of ordering, storing, using, and selling a company's inventory. Okay, so what is that, guys? We need to complete all these spaces. Warehouse. Mm. Inventory management. Inventory management. We need to use, okay, invent, oops, inventory management. Yes, very good. Okay, remember that right now we are going to use the vocabulary that we just saw. Okay, next, volunteer for reading the next definition, please. To provide a new supply of something to replace what has been used, salt taken. Okay, so guys, what is that? Look at the spaces. Restock. Restock. Okay. Correct. Excellent job. Okay, volunteer for reading the next definition, please. Uh huh. A previously determined date after which something should no longer be used. Hmm. Expiration date. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Expiration day. Expiration date. Excellent job. Okay, how about the next one? Look at this. It says at the time of year when a place is less popular or, or fashionable. fashionable. Out of season. Out of season. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Out of season. Mm. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Excellent, pretty good job. Volunteer for reading the next definition, please. The goods or or mer merchant these mer keep merchandise merchandise keep on the premises of a business or warehouse. Hmm, what is that? Stock. Stock. Do you agree, guys? Yeah. Stuck. <laughs> That's the one. Excellent. Okay, next one. Volunteer. 
a concrete lease of iron source of property goods in stock goods in stock goods in stock okay goods what is that stock. inventory inventory what do you think guys do you agree yes i, I, I agree. agree yeah inventory very good job okay next one please Volunteer for reading. The deterioration of food and perishable goods. Perishable. Uh-huh. What is that, guys? Spoilage. Spoilage. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Agree. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice, excellent, very good. Next one, to make full or complete again. Replenish. Replenish, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm writing incorrectly, it's E. Replenish, nice. Volunteer for reading the next definition. Not important to or not connected with their present situation or discussion. Hmm, irrelevant. Okay, irrelevant. Nice, very good. And the last one, in a decayed or decomposed state. It is missing a letter E here, but is state. Mm -hmm. What is that? Rotten. Rotten? Are you Rotten? sure? Pretty good. That is the one. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Those are the definitions of the words, the vocabulary that we just studied. Is it clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, there is an earthquake, guys. If it did continue, I'm going to run. Give me a second. Okay, did you feel it? Yes, I just say do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> let's run. <laughs> okay. Are you okay, everybody? Yes. Okay, <laughs> I have to confess that I feel panic to the Templars and earthquake. Honestly. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. <laughs> I try. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I, this is one of my panics, I think, my scares. So, but anyway, I think it's over. Yes? It means yeah. you don't watch you if because you run. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I turn off the camera <laughs> because if the earthquake continues, I will just run, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, now that the vocabulary is clear, let's have a written practice. I want you guys to choose three of these words, the ones that you prefer. Um, if you want to use rotten, okay. And I want you guys to write sentences using those words. In total, I need three sentences, okay? And because we are practicing simple past, please try to write the sentences in simple past. For example, rotten. Hmm, you can say, um, there was, a rotten mango in the fridge, okay? I have one sentence. Then you have to pick another word and you say, ah, I want to use out of season. Okay, write a sentence using out of season, okay? In total, you have to write three 
sentences with three different words. You have to write the sentences and send it on WhatsApp's group, but please remember, no me envíen like una por una. Escriban las tres en un solo mensaje and send it. And don't forget to add your full names, okay? For this activity, guys, you have five minutes, so go ahead. Choose three words and write three sentences in simple past. Is it clear? The activity? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You have five minutes. If you have questions, just let me know. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Remember, send the sentences on WhatsApp's group. Don't forget to add your full names, right? Please. Teacher, how do you uh, yes? How do you write bodega? Sorry, uh, okay. I know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, you can say warehouse. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Three sentences, everyone. Send it on WhatsApp group. If you have questions, just let me know. Remember, only three sentences, everyone. Try to use the words.
don't forget to add your full names when you send the sentences, please. And be careful with the spelling, everyone. Remember that in English, one word is wrong, the meaning changes. So be careful with the spelling. Okay, I can see some of your classmates already sent the sentences. Nice, very good. Write your sentences, everyone. I will be reading all your sentences. If I see a mistake or something, I will let you know. Send it, please. Don't forget to add your names. If you have questions, just let me know, please. I can see very good sentences so far. I like it. For the one who hasn't finished, one more minute. All right, very good sentences, guys. I liked it. I can see that you use very similar words, but I like that so far so good. Now, when we are writing, it is important, guys, to know what is the function of every single word, okay? So we need to know if they are working as a verb, if they are working as an adjective or as a noun. Any questions so far, everybody, with the vocabulary? Yes? No? Okay, very good. Well, if you don't have questions now, let's continue. Keep in mind the vocabulary. We are going to use it. Now, when we're talking about inventory and warehouse management, we need to understand what is it? Okay, so let's learn a little or some concepts, everyone, and pay attention to this, please. We have warehouse management. 
Hmm, so what is that? What is the meaning of warehouse management? I need a volunteer, please, for reading the concepts that we have here. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. It is the control of the day-to-day -day operation of a warehouse, such as the shipping, the saving, put, put away, and picking up goods. All right. So look at this picture. In this picture, we have a lot of processes. One of the processes is receiving, put away, storage, picking, packing, shipping. All of these process, right, are the processes that people do in a warehouse. So what is the meaning of warehouse management? Basically, guys, is the control of all these processes. Is it clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes, teacher. Okay, if I ask you guys, can you tell me all the operations that we have in a warehouse management? Or in a warehouse, for example, picking, what else? Can you tell me other operations? Or Receiving, uh -huh. packaging, yes. storage. Yes. What else? Hmm, okay. We have put away, shipping, packing. So all of these guys are day-to-day -day operations in a warehouse. What is the meaning of day-to-day? -day? What is that? Dia, dia. Yes, day by day, every single day, exactly. So think about your company, guys. Does your company do one of these um, process? Yes? Does your company do one of these operations? Yes. Which yes. one? Which ones? All of them? Or just some of them? Today. Okay, which ones? Today. All of them. Yes. yes. All right. On Monday, on Monday in on Monday to at Saturday. All right. So look, that is a good example of day-to-day -day operations. How about you guys? How about your company? In your company, do they do these a uh, processes yes teacher in Which? my in my job uh -huh. uh, the product the receiver that is exchange uh, okay. and then put away with the fall lift remove the product mm, okay uh, and places the storage and then is picking uh, uh, with label the product the, each the product and uh, next uh, I don't know how do you say Java is the box the the wood. Okay, you can say a box made of wood oh. or a wood box. Or a wood work box. Uh huh. Uh, because the product uh, came can broken mm, okay and, and finally is shipping yes so look at these guys all of these processes is the day-to-day -day operation in a warehouse so to be clear imagine if i ask you what is a warehouse management ah is the control of all of this operation. Ah, is the control of receiving, putting away, storage, da 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 da. 
Okay, that is the meaning for a warehouse management. Understood everybody? Yes? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but I got the same uh, question with the word uh, bodega. Porque, okay. Because bodega, bodega, okay. Warehouse means a, a big building. But uh, in the case of uh, where I work, it's a, uh, it's una pequeña bodega. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if, if this word applies in this case. Well, in this case, guys, remember that in English, we can have different synonyms for the same word. If we say warehouse is basically, if we translate it, es una bodega, and it doesn't matter if it is big or if it is small. Warehouse is bodega. Now we can find another um, synonyms for warehouse. So some people can say uh, storage. Storage is another way to say bodega, right? And some other people say depot, okay? That's just synonym of a warehouse. Uh-huh. Other synonym is a uh, CD. Is what what? Synonym is, is CD. CD? How do you yes, spell it? Uh, 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 this distribution center. Ah, like, well, actually, I've never heard that before, but could be. Could be. Uh, 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 uh. In my company is is a uh, the warehouse is a CD. Ah, it's a, it's center, a distribution it's a, center. Center, yes, yes. yes. Now, I, I, uh, in the in the place uh, receive the 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 products the the exportation uh, Honduras uh, Honduras uh -huh. and and receive the, 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 the product in the in the manufacturing the all in 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 this play in this place. Mm. So you receive the products from different country and then the product yes. is distributed here in El Salvador. Yes, and it, 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 yes. Uh, to uh, receive the the, the 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 manufacturing the oil mm -hmm. uh, box okay. the, the, the box the oils in ah. manufacturing is a is a a net a net mm -hmm. uh, place ah okay now that is important as your classmates said, guys, we have some warehouses that are big. Some others can be small, okay? So right now, we are going to see different types of warehouse, okay? And then you can try to identify which kind of warehouse is your company, okay? So we're going to see different type of warehouse, but remember the translation is the same, okay? So before checking which kind of warehouse we have, let's answer these questions. Look at the number one. What will happen if the warehouse of a very busy company, so imagine a big company, uh, reaches its maximum capacity? So what do you think? What will happen? Any idea? What will happen if a warehouse is totally full and it is no more capacity available? Uh, how do you say, how do you say uh, Tarima is a, is a pallet? Is a what? Uh, how do you say Tarima? Platforma. is a pallet. Pallet. Okay, I don't know what pallet is. I will say platform. 
por una tarima a platform yes a uh, in e, 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 in our warehouse the capacity is a is a oh, oh, three i'm sorry how do you say meal mm. meal is a three oh, i'm sorry okay say it in spanish because i don't know what is the word that you're trying to say uh -huh. 3,250 tarimas. Ah, okay. Oh, wow, it's, it's very big. It's huge. Yes. Yes. And just imagine, buddies, what will happen if all of those are full and there are no more space? What will happen? Uh, is, uh, in and it's a, it's a collapse it's a collapse of the the, the warehouse uh -huh. it will collapse it's, it's a i need a i need a outsourcing the the uh -huh. other other warehouse very good exactly if they reach the maximum capacity what do they need to do they need to outsource another warehouse to give them the space to continue keeping the products, right? Yes. Very good. Now look at the next question, guys. How will avoid or what can we do to avoid overcrowding in a warehouse? Do you know what overcrowding is? Um maybe excessive the product yes that's the one so what can we do in order to avoid it to prevent overcrowding what can we do uh-huh can we prevent overcrowding yes or no what do you think I will believe uh, before we receive the product, the the places or warehouses uh -huh. uh, must must be the compatibility among the products. Ah, very good. So we need to see if we have space before receiving the product, right? So we need to check the inventory pretty good so why is that important we are going to read this conversation guys there are two people we have rose and matt they are discussing storage problems uh, they are facing some problems at the warehouse where they uh, keep or hold their shipments, their goods. So we're going to read these conversations and let's see what is happening here. This conversation is in your manual, is in the page 25. So I will need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? I need two volunteers, everybody. Wake up. I can read, teacher. Wilbur? Yes. Thank you. Amy. Okay. Who say me? Me? Quien dijo me? Me. Okay. So uh, let's start. You will be Rose. Wilbur, you will be Matt. Go ahead. Okay. Sir, we just received a call from the warehouse. The last shipment arrived today and it seems they don't have more space to, to store or products. That is a very expensive shipment. Our products will get damaged if they are left lying anywhere. Can they arrange for the transportation of this shipment to a different warehouse? Yes, sir. They asked if we had some other warehouse we could use. 
I will get the documents ready to absorb this shipment to a temporary warehouse. It is costly, but the product the products come first. Thank you. Okay, what is happening here, guys? What is the situation? Uh huh. Do you pay attention? Space. Ah, okay. So basically, guys, they don't have more space in the warehouse. And is that a problem for them? Yes or no? Yes, but no, because they have a solution and they are, they are going to absorb a shipment, a temporary shipment. Ah, very good. Well, if you see, guys, basically that is the problem. They have the situation that there are no more space at the warehouse. Okay? They don't have more space. And the problem is that the product, okay, will get damaged. So what is the solution? Ah, easy. They need to outsource another warehouse it's going to be cheap or expensive what do you think expensive. depend depend mm, but life. according according to this reading it will be cheap or expensive expensive ah it will be expensive look what is the meaning of costly Costly means? Expensive. Expensive. So in this scenario, they have to pay a lot of money. But what is more important here? The cost or the product? The product. The product. Because in the end, guys, if the products get damaged, it will be even more expensive. So these are some of the problems that we can have in a warehouse, okay? So we are going to see some examples, guys, of the different types of concepts that we can find here. We have warehouse management. That is the concept that we already checked. Let's see if you remember what is warehouse management. Is control controller uh -huh. of the 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 review the res, 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 review the picking packing uh, um, uh -huh. what else guys. No, you I'm sorry, did. help me, help me. Yes, guys, help him. He already gave you an idea. What else? Uh, it, is the, it is the control day-to-day uh, -day operation. Ah, very good. Is the control of the day of day-to-day -day operation in a warehouse, right? And those operations include receiving, put Shipping. away, shipping. And picking. Picking. What else? Baking. Okay. And? The stores. Okay, very good. And packing, right? Now, we are going to see a very similar definition, but this one is stock control. control. So let's see what is the difference between warehouse management and stock control. Here we got some definitions. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition of warehouse management. Go ahead. Volunteer okay, for Mr. reading? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Warehouse management in the control of the day-to-day -day operation of warehouse. So it says that shipping, receiving, put away, and picking those goods. 
Thank you. That is the meaning. Is it clear the definition for a warehouse management? Yes. Okay, now let's see the other definition. Stock control. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes. Is the control is a way to maximi, maximize, I don't know, profit maximize? by maximize profit by getting inventory right. And warehouse management is a way to maximize the F efficiency and effect effectiveness or warehouse effectiveness effectiveness or warehouse operations thank you according to these definitions guys what is the difference between warehouse management and stock control what can you see different what 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 do you see what is the difference between them is it the same or not? What do you think? Let's participate. Give me your opinions. I think warehouse management is the way uh, you control the product uh, you manage. Okay. Product. And stock control is how uh, how to maximize uh, the benefit uh, of money, uh, well, provide to, okay. to, uh, to find the maximum way to, to, to get a, a, a lot of money. Hmm, sounds good, sounds good. Any other idea, guys? Do you agree with your classmates or do you have any other opinion? What is the mm -hmm. difference? In my opinion, the different is the uh, a different warehouse and stock control is the the warehouse is the uh, and build the the operation the product mm -hmm. and the stock control is a maximum uh, capacity the the activity more nor no more activity uh, activity because it's the 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 definition the process and other activities in between in action the warehouse management mm, sounds good sounds good i listen to anyone else yes uh, be sure uh -huh. okay go ahead okay, <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you go ahead boris and then in, carlos in my op opinion uh-huh in my case in my case is a uh, is the in the stock control is the control the 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 amount product mm -hmm. in the in the where in in the warehouse manager is a control operation the is the the the, the person personal okay personal. sounds good sounds good Carlos what do you say Okay, uh, I don't know, I understand, but I think it's the control. Uh, it's reference to money, to profit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, warehouse management, uh, maybe is logistic in the warehouse, the process, all the process. All right. Actually, guys, Everything you say is correct. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, let, let's see, look at this one. I have a warehouse management, okay? If you see in this picture, it says where everything is. If you go to a warehouse management and you say, I need to know where the Coca-Cola is, the warehouse management, they, I mean, they are in control of all the operations. So they have everything well organized. And they say, yes, and the Coca-Cola is over here. Ah, okay, and where is the control? Ah, they are over here. So they have specialists all the control. They, as you said, they know the operations. But what is the difference with stock 
control. The stock control, they are just trying to get efficiency. Okay? For example, look at the picture. What is missing? Is missing something here? Yes. 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 Stock control says, A, we need more product. We have space for more Coca-Colas. So let's keep more. Let's bring more Coca-Colas because we have space. The stock control says about cameras. Do we need more cameras over here? Do we, do we have more space for cameras? No. No, really. So stock control says, hey, no more cameras because we don't have more space. That is the difference. Warehouse is just about operations. The system that they use about all the process, but the stock control, they guaranteed the quality. Okay, they the, guarantee efficiency. The the control, the stock control is a is that the 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 control the first intro and first out. Ah, okay, it sounds good. Yes, that's another way to see it. And now everybody, is it clear the difference between a stock control and warehouse management? Clear or not clear? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. if it is clear, I have two definitions over here. You have to tell me which one is each. For example, the number one says, it tells, it tells you where the items are and the order in which they need to be picked. What is that? Warehouse management or stock control? What do you think? Hey, I'm sorry, can you see what I'm sharing? No. No. Hmm. How about now? Can you see it? No. No. Mm. Okay, give me a second. Let me change my internet connection. Uh, can you see it now? Yes? No? Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> great, thanks. Okay, so what is that? The number one, it tells you where is the product or which they need to be picked. Is that a warehouse management or a stock control? In warehouse management. Warehouse management, okay. And you guys, do you agree? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? How about, look at the number two. The number two says that it means that you know how many of a particular product you have and when you need to order more. So the number two is warehouse or stock? Number two is stock. Stock control? Yes. Are you sure? Everybody? Uh, yes? It, it, yeah, sure. What are how is 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 for me number two? So for number you one number is two is an uh-huh, okay. Number one is a stock control. Okay. And you guys, the rest of you, what do you think? In the the case uh, uh, the case the clay case is a a need to be the picket. They need to the picket. Okay. Okay. Final answer, everybody. Warehouse management number one or number two? I'm changed to uh, opinion. I agree with Boris. 
Okay, so guys, you think that warehouse is the number two and stock control is the number one. That's what you think? I think warehouse is the first one okay. and stock control is the second one. <laughs> okay, so Pamela says that warehouse is the first and the stock control is the second one. Okay, uh huh. And the rest of you, boys, tell me what is your opinion? Do you agree with Pamela or with bodies? I changed. I changed. Did you opinion. change your mind? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wilbur, Wilbur, Wilbur changed his opinion for you, Boris, and now you change your opinion. <laughs> okay. So, in the end, yeah. I, I, I need a final answer. The, the number two teachers are uh, warehouse management. Number two, warehouse management. Yes. Okay, so some of you says that is like this, number two and number one. Correct. Okay. I agree. <laughs> is your final answer? Yes. Okay, I agree. remember? I agree. <laughs> bodies, you had to make a decision. Remember <laughs> guys, what I mentioned before, keywords, okay? Number one says, it tells you where the items are, okay? And the number two says, it means that you know how many products you have and when you need to order more. So let's go back to the picture that I shared before. It is this one. So look at this one. Warehouse management. Ah, where is the Coca-Cola? The Coca-Cola is over here. Where are the CDs for music? Ah, they are here. Stock control. Hey, I don't have more Coca-Cola, so I need to order more Coca-Colas because I don't have more. Do you need more cameras? No. No. I, I don't need more cameras because I already have many of them. So that is the definitions. Let's go back to here. So. Uh -huh. I agree with Pamela. <laughs> now you agree with Pamela. So. Yes. Number one is. Is warehouse. Manage. Warehouse. <laughs> that is the one. So look at this one. Number one is warehouse management. Okay, in the warehouse management, guys, it's just about operation. They tell us where are all the items. They tell us in which order they will be uh, delivered, they will be shipped, they will be packaged, okay? Stock control, on the other hand, they don't do the operations processes. No, they just verified that everything is in order they just verified how many products you have and they need to check when they need to order more. Oh. Mm -hmm. So if the warehouse is full, no more capacity, do you think that the stock control will ask for more products? Si ya está yendo el warehouse, ustedes creen que el stock control va a decir, hey, pidamos más producto. What do you think? No, right? Because I think no. exactly. No. Control. Exactly. Because they have everything under control. They verify when we need to order more and when we need to stop ordering. Is it clear the differences between warehouse management and stock control? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Are you sure? So, so. 
<laughs> Boris, you changed ah. your mind many times. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I confusion in, in the the word they need to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's okay. The word. When uh, when when you read the the, the, the second is a is a comprehension com, comprehension uh, for the Finnish Finnish mm -hmm. Finnish word <laughs> on, <laughs> on the on the word 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 say word say uh, uh, order order more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a, it's that, a click. It's, so, it's a click. My. It's a yeah. Click. It's it's a little bit tricky. But remember, guys, every time that we have this type of exercises, we need to identify the keywords. That's the key. Now we're going to check a, a different types of warehouse. But before that, I need to verify the attendance again. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Ana Lorena. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. All right. Um, Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulice Torres. I'm here, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Elias. Thank you. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Josman Atilio. Present, teacher. Okay. Kevin Alfredo. Okay, he's listener. Nelson Alberto. Here. Okay. Osman Enrique. Well, he's listener, I guess. And Pamela Molina. Present teacher. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, so now guys, let's continue. Types of warehouse. If you remember, some of your classmates were asking, okay, what happens if the warehouse is big? What happens if the warehouse is small? Okay, what happens if the function is a little bit different? So that is type of warehouse management. Let's see some of them and you try to identify if your company is inside of these three types. Let's start with the first one. The first type of warehousing is holding warehouse. So what is that? What is holding warehouse? I need a volunteer for reading the definition, please. Me okay, I heard Pamela first. Thank you. Go ahead. A holding warehouse. It is a type of business that stores products and materials for other companies. These agencies usually have a large space that they rent out to their clients. The holding warehouse agency is responsible for keeping the product safe and secure and for ensuring that they are delivered to the correct destination on time. Thank you. Okay, I know that the concept is a little long and you might be confusing, but again, let's identify the keywords. Holding warehouse is big or small? According to this definition, what do you think? Big. Big. Look, they have large sp 
space. That means that the warehouse, if they are holding warehouse, they are big. And they say that they keep the products safe and secured. And look at this draw that we have here. They say that they keep the product, but not for a short period of time. They can keep the product for a long time. So imagine they are big and they can keep the product for a long time. So imagine that I am a company and I need to save my products for one year. Do you think that I need a holding warehouse? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, because the holding warehouse, they can keep the product for a long time. They can save a lot of product because they are big. Is it clear? The definition for holding warehouse? Yes. So think about your company. Is your company a holding warehouse? Yes or no? Uh huh? No. No? It's not big or they don't keep the product for a long time? What about you guys? Is your company we, holding warehouse? Uh -huh. Our company don't, ha don't have the product for a long time. Ah, very good. Okay. So let's see another type of warehouse. And the other type is the distribution center. And this is one of your classmates was talking about. Volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Distribution center is a logistic facility, facility that stores finished goods before their picket are in packet to fulfill customer orders. Distribution centers play, play a key role in the supply chain, particularly with regard to helping fulfill customer orders more quickly and accurately while keeping associated costs down. Thank you. Okay, keywords again. But first, be careful with the pronunciation. We have E the ending. What is the pronunciation of this word? Picket. Mm, picket. Picket. Ah, picket. picked. Picked. And the other one? Packet. Packed. Packed. Very good. Picked and packed. That's the one. Excellent. Okay, let's see the difference between holding and distribution center. It says that the distribution center, okay, they play a very key role in the supply chain. Okay. Do you think that they keep the product for a long time or not? Mm -hmm. It says that, look at the orders. I, uh, small, small time. Ah, very good. So imagine the difference guys. Si yo tengo un warehouse que es pequeño, right? ¿Puedo retener el producto por mucho tiempo? Yes or no? No. 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 You have to order quickly. Exactly. ¿Qué pasa si lo retengo por mucho tiempo? Se me acumulan. ¿Me van a caber? No. No. Because a distribution center, guys, is smaller. Okay, and what's the idea? The idea, let me ask, 
¿Ustedes creen que mantener un producto en una warehouse es cheap o expensive? ¿Qué do you think? It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. So, imagine if we go back to the previous one, a holding warehouse. Si yo mantengo el producto for a lot of time, si ellos me permiten tenerlo ahí por mucho tiempo, a holding warehouse is cheap or expensive? It's as, yeah, expensive. Holding warehouse is very expensive, Fancy. right? Because they say, yes, I have enough space. You can keep the product here for a long time, no problem. But now the difference with a distribution center is that they reduce the cost. So a distribution center is cheaper. Why? Ustedes no van a tener el producto ahí por mucho tiempo. Por eso el costo es menos is cheaper so that is the characteristic of the distribution center they are smaller they keep the product for a short period of time and they are cheaper is it clear the difference between where a holding warehouse and the distribution center yes is it clear, everyone? Is your company a holding warehouse or is more like a distribution center? What do you think? In my case. Uh huh. What do you say? In my case, mm -hmm. is distribution center because. Um, Every day we order the, the product. Ah, good. So look, the orders are very quickly, basically. Good. And you guys, how yeah. about your companies? Uh huh. Okay, wake up, everyone. I want you to participate. Okay. So we just checked two, holding warehouse and distribution center. There is a very ex a clear example of this kind of distribution center and is Amazon. Why Amazon is a distribution center? I need a volunteer please for reading this concept. Amazon is a well-known example. The company has more than 100 active so-called fulfillment centers across the USA alone. Sellers ship their items to these fulfillment centers where they are stored until workers pick pack and shipment to fulfill customer orders. Thank you. So guys, do you think that Amazon uh, received the orders quickly or not? Mm -hmm. Reciben y envían paquetes así lento or like very fast? It's very fast. fast. It's very fast. Do it's you think fast. that they keep the product in the warehouse for a long time? No. No. No really. Si lo mantuvieran por un largo tiempo, nunca le llegarían al cliente, right? So Amazon yes. is a clear example of a distribution center. Okay? They move fast. They don't keep the product there for a long time. It's very fast. Understood? Yes? yes. And any questions so far, everyone? No. Okay, what was the first one? The first type of warehouse? Holding warehouse. 
Holding warehouse. What was the second one? Distribution center. The distribution center. Very good. Okay. Let's see a third one. The cross docking center. Okay. Look at this picture. I have a truck. The truck delivers the package. And I have another truck that takes the package and goes. What do you understand in this picture? What is the function of a cross docking? What do you think? Is, is the peers in, in, in both? Uh huh. And, and peers out. So do you think that the product, the product the product stays in the warehouse for a long time? No. The product is a uh, uh, bit time mm -hmm. in the warehouse. It's just for a short period of time. Volunteer for reading this definition, please. The Only one, please. The, the, the distribution, distribution process in which products are on, unload, unloaded, from, unloaded from incoming base bases and vehicles, load, vehicles and loaded directly on out of going vehicle with min, minimal minimal or no storage in between. Okay, key words. Pay attention here, everyone. When we are talking about cross docking center, what is happening here? Okay, I have incoming vehicle. That means el vehículo que va llegando, right? With the packages. So they take the packages, and they put the packages directly onto outgoing vehicles. That means, okay, tengo un paquete aquí, llega el camioncito, right? Y el paquete va directo to the outgoing vehicles. De una vez lo pasan al vehículo que va de salida. So what happens here? Do we have a storage? Yes or no? Guardamos el paquete por ahí en la bodega, sí o no? No. No. Basically, no. In this case, guys, the cross docking is just a center. Yes, it's a warehouse, but the product, they don't stay there. Okay? So, cuando hablamos de un cross docking center, basically, guys, it's like un punto de reunión, right? Al mismo uh, tiempo que van llegando, así mismo se van yendo in another trucks. Son consolidados. I'm sorry? Son consolidados. Mm, what do you mean? Eh, consolidado que, que, por ejemplo, lo que pueden llevar varios camiones, eh, varios productos, pero se, se llena otro camión con, el, con esos productos. Mm -hmm. Van consolidados, son para varios clientes, pero es consolidado. Yes, that's it. So remember, the characteristic of the cross docking, guys, is that the product don't stay there. Okay? We don't storage the product. Immediately, the inbound truck arrives, the product goes to another truck, and they go out. So is it clear the difference with a cross docking center? Yes? Yes. Just imagine guys, think about an example in our country. What could be a cross docking center? Do we have a cross docking center here in El Salvador? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine in the port, in los puertos, right? Yeah. 
When the boat arrives there with a lot of products. The frontier. The product gets there. El producto se queda en, el, en los puertos o inmediatamente es despachado en otros camiones. What do you think? Uh, no. Depends on the product. It depends on the product. Because so, no more time in the in the puerto. Port. And port no more time. Ah, so that could be an example of the cross docking yeah. center. Okay, yeah. so keep in mind the characteristics, everyone. So in the cross docking center, mm, no storage. Okay, the package don't, it doesn't stay there. Goes immediately to the outgoing vehicles. Clear? Yes. Yes. Is is your company cross docking center? Yes or no? No. No. In my, in my case, no. no. Okay. And you guys? Yes or no? No. No. All right. A clear example of a cross docking center is Walmart. Okay. Volunteer, please, for reading the paragraph. Uh -huh. Only one, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Indeed, Walmart is one of the most famous examples of the company that uses cross docking. Uh, Walmart trucks pull up to distribution centers and goods are retrieved, processed, and sent to stores that are typic typic typically within 130 miles from the distribution centers. This strategy has been in, um, enormously enormously successful for this retail and has distributed to their dominance to the hair dominance in the industry. Thank you. So imagine guys, Walmart has different cross docking center. How many supermarkets or how many Walmarts do you think that uh, there are in the United States? A lot of, right? A lot of Walmarts in the United States. So they have the cross docking center. Es decir, llegan los camiones con el montón de producto. ¿Ustedes creen que el producto se, se puede quedar en el warehouse for a long time? Yes or no? No. No. Why? They have expiration yeah. dates, right? So, yeah. cuando los camiones llegan with the product, immediately they need to distribute the product a todos los different Walmarts. Entonces, tenemos un camión que se va a ir para acá another one for here, other over here, and so on and so on. So the product doesn't stay here. So the cross docking, básicamente solo funciona como un punto de reunión, right? That's why it's a center, okay? Solo es el punto donde se van a reunir para intercambiar los productos en, let's go. That is the difference and that is the function for the cross docking center. Got it? Understood? Okay, let's see if you remember what was the first one? Holding warehouse. Holding, Holding warehouse. warehouse. What is the second one? Distribution center. Distribution center. Uh -huh. And the last one? Cross, Cross docking Cross. center. Awesome. Cross docking center. Which one is the most expensive? Do you Holding remember? Warehouse. Holding warehouse. warehouse. The first one. Exactly. Because you can keep the product for more time. Very good. 
Okay, we don't have more time, so we are going to review in this topic tomorrow. So I hope for tomorrow you remember. Now we have a winner for tonight, as always. Um, but I'm not sure if he's here. Santiago, are you there? So yeah, I think he's not there. So I'm going to give the, uh, the gift to another person and it is Wilbur. <laughs> so Wilbur, yes, I see you're there. <laughs> okay, yes. so everybody have a good night, take care and see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Good, good night. night. Good night everyone. See you tomorrow, take care, goodbye, goodbye. Okay, so I think that they are stay there because they are not here. <laughs> okay, so Wilbur, uh, this meeting is pretty short. It's just to clarify some questions or comments that you may have. So this is your moment. Any questions? No, teacher, I have no questions so far. Uh, oh. I guess the class has been, the model has been interesting. Oh, that's great. Yes. Excellent. How about the platform? Uh, I finished the platform. All of it? Yes. Oh my goodness. It. Okay, let uh, me see. I'm checking okay. your platform right now. Okay. And yes, I can see that you finished all of it. Nice. Excellent. I, I expect that your classmate follow your example. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent job. So what do you feel is the most difficult area in English? Listening, speaking, grammar, reading, writing? Listening. Listening? Yes. yes. Okay. Listening is the most uh, difficult uh, process for me to learn English. Mm, okay, so that is the area that we need to practice more. Okay? Yes, uh, yes, I do it. Excellent, excellent. And how is going the simple past? Um, uh, kind, kind of confusion, but I'm working in that mm -hmm. uh, because I get confused when when you wrote or, or when you share the the, 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 the the script where the where the uh, the when the word finish in that uh, word, for example, mm -hmm. when you wrote oh, a, you mean the pronunciation? Yes, the mm. pronunciation. But because when you said it, it's uh, it's voiceless or it's voiced, something mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, I just I thought that uh, when we finish with the with the throat? vibration. I have a vibration and we finish with T. Ah, uh -huh, yes. So I, you got the confusion there. I it's, got, the, it's the opposite. Exactly. Yes, it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm working on that because it gets me confused. Yeah, but uh, it's just with the practice. So yes. I think that we are going to have more practice with the simple past, especially speaking, in mm. order that we can continue improving that. I know that it's a difficult topic, not just for you. I mean, your classmates had the same issues. So if you yes. listen to the class, we always have some issues with the pronunciation. So we need to improve that. Yes. Because remember, we are intermediate four. At yes. this level, I mean, we should have a, a, a good we should be good in simple past because that is a topic that we studied in basic. So, but mm -hmm. we are going to continue practicing that. Is there okay. any other topic that you feel that it could be difficult so far? No, for, for the moment, no teacher. Uh, okay. I think I think that uh, all the topics are we, uh, we have watching uh, need more practice. Mm -hmm. Basically. But, but it's, yes, but it's okay. Excellent. Okay, so I'm glad that you feel that the topics are clear. Every time or if one day you feel that the topic is difficult or you want to review another topic, please just let me know. Okay? Okay, teacher. I will do it. Excellent. Okay, I know that you might be tired, so I will let you go to sleep. Okay, have a rest. Good night and see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. Bye-bye.